Hello. Thanks for joining me. My name's Deanne, and I'm going to be taking you through 20-minute meal planning. I'm super excited to have you watching this because what I'm going to tell you goes against pretty much everything you probably have seen about meal planning in the mainstream. But I don't feel like there is a cookie cutter approach or the such thing as a perfect meal plan in the real world. And so what I have done is kind of um, adapted a method that I'm going to tell you about today. Um, but if you followed my blog, if you followed me on social media, you know I'm a lot about keeping it real in the kitchen. And this course is going to be no different than that. So, um, you know, we all have the good, the bad, the ugly. I share it all. Um, I'm not ashamed to share it all. I think it's important for you to know that I go through the same struggles that you go through. And so when it comes to meal planning, yes, I do crock pot meals and I do freezer meals. And there are also nights when I'm just tired and I'm like, okay, drive through it is. And so that's just with the real world and I'm not I'm not embarrassed to tell you that um, because I'm like you and I think um, we all want to feed our family healthy meals right we want to nourish our kids we want to have them um, eat a bunch of different foods and basically grow up and be good decent human beings like that's what we're working for and um, Chances are, if you're watching this, it's because you have a goal like that, too, or you're responsible for the care and feeding of other people. So here's the thing. We are all strapped for time. It doesn't matter who you are, if you're um, you know, working outside the home full time, if you're working in the home full time, even, um, I mean, I just can't think of anybody who is walking around, a parent, a grandparent, um, a caretaker, uh, aunt, uncle, whatever, I can't think of anyone who's walking around complaining about their abundance of time. Like, gee, I have so much time on my hands. Like, what am I possibly going to do with it? It's such a burden. Like, no, if you find someone like that, if you know someone like that, send them my way because I want to talk to them for hours and find out what their secret is because, um, you know, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. Yes, that's my dad talking. He used to always say that. But there's so many different ways that we're being pulled in. Um, so time is precious to us. So I want to thank you for taking a little bit of time to invest in yourself and reduce some stress and save some time and effort down the meal planning road um, by taking this course. And you're going to save some money in the process most likely too because you're not going to be planning for meals that you don't actually cook. So here's the thing. Life happens. So we have schedule changes that happen, the mood shifts, a last minute meeting pops up, somebody gets sick. We're farmers. Like that says it all too. If you're a farm, a farm family, you know that things are constantly changing. So if you plan for seven perfect meals a week, you're pretty much planning to fail. Like that's just kind of a little blunt, but um, it's it's not very likely in the real world. So um, as you know, I feed uh, our family of six a lot. Uh, we've got four kids from three to 15, so we're very busy too. Um, picky eaters, we've got them. So I feel for all you moms out there dealing with picky eaters, um, when I come up with a perfect solution, I will let you know. But we also have things like sports schedules and orthodontist appointments and extracurricular activities and farming and church activities. And these things are all great, but boy, they keep us happy. Like I could keep going on and chances are you could too with all the things that you've got going on. So we're just, it comes down to that we're some seriously busy people. And so um, I don't try to make a perfect meal plan. Um, what I learned is you will never please everyone with every single meal every single day. Like if, if you're trying to do that, just let yourself off the hook now and take that notion out of the equation because it is just, it's not realistic. So for me, once I embrace the fact that um, I'm not Martha Stewart, obviously, and I'm not Rachel Ray even, like she... I, I don't know what she 
she's got more energy than probably all of us put together. And so I struggle with that even. Like she's supposed to have 30 minute meals, but they're maybe not the 30 minute meals that I can pull together on a regular night. So once I discovered that I needed to make meals and a meal plan for my family and my way, then everything kind of shifted. And so what my reel is may be different than your reel, but the beauty of this plan that I'm going to teach you is that you can make it work for you and you can make it work for you at any given time. So you can adapt and adjust and, and pivot, if you will. Um, so I'm excited to share this with you. I'm gonna teach you how you can make a meal plan in about 20 minutes per week. Um, before we get started here on the first part of the lesson, I have a few things to know. So um, we're gonna keep things realistic. Chateaubriand on a Wednesday night, not happening. Rack of lamb, <laughs> probably not either. But your time is precious, so I don't want you to spend or feel like it's necessary to spend you know, spending hours pouring over um, the perfect meal plan because um, you cook and the family eats and then life goes on and then you get to do it all over again the next week. So why make perfection, try for perfection in something that's going to just rapidly move through your life and then you're gonna do it all over again. So if you've got things that are wins, I'll talk to you about how you can capitalize on those. And if you have a meal that's a flop, it's fine. Just don't do it again and find something else to make. Um, my meal planning method is likely gonna save you dollars too because we're gonna be planning for meals in the real world. Um, that means that you're not gonna have the seven perfect meals planned um, along with groceries rotting away in your fridge because you weren't able to execute this this great plan that you had. Um, I figure you'd probably rather have the money in the bank than the produce in your garbage. So in addition to saving you some time and some money in this course, it's also going to save you something that you can't really put a price on. Um, and I know firsthand. Any guesses what it is? Sanity. <laughs> it's going to help keep you sane. So that's pretty precious, I'd say. So come on in. Let's get started.